guys, I'm back again today after test. Eureka Lightspeed, Eureka Airspeed, and the Eureka in Reach, also known as the Eureka Capture, but that's a different inside desk design. Anyways, so I just got the um, Lightspeed back a couple, like a week or two ago because my sister had it for her apartment and the brush had broke, so I got a new brush roll for it and unclogged the hose and it works fine again. Um, the other two, they've just been here. I haven't included this in a video since like a really long time ago. Cause I haven't had it, but now I have it back. Um, I'm gonna be doing the same tests that I did with the Bissell, the Hoover, and the Shark. I'm gonna start with the Eureka Lights be first. And reach out the way. And the air speed out the way. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the hose first to get up all the fluff. There we go. This one sounds a little bit different because um, of the brush roll. Oh, I'm the dust coming out again. But yeah, it sounds a little bit different because of the brush roll. Because it's newer and stiffer than the old one. Need to get a new brush for the end reach. She doesn't really need it, but like, I don't know, I just, they could just use one. Okay. Set this to floors. I make the tools. Get the hose and do some cleaning. <laughs> speed. I mean, I think it did better than the um, light speed. <laughs> now for the inReach, my favorite of all of them. Here's the hose. <laughs>
Um, dang, this is a hard one. I don't know. Put it in the comments below which one you think won. In my opinion, I think the InReach did the best, and then the Airspeed, and then the uh, uh, Lightspeed. But well, I'm going to use the Lightspeed to clean the rest of us up. I usually would use the InReach, but I used it on every video, so cords up, put them back, and then use the light speed for the rest of this. Give me a moment. Let me know in the comments if I should get like a real camera instead of using my phone. So I could buy that instead of what I was going to buy. Here we go, clean up the rest of this mess. Oh, by the way, let me know in the comments if I should buy a Dyson DC33 for like $180 at Walmart. I know I said I hate Dyson before, but they're actually not as bad as I thought. I'd buy a ball of Dyson, but that's too expensive. If I was going to buy one, I'd buy the multi-floor, but let's see how the future, and let's see if the future has in the hold. Here we go. <laughs> 